we're back and now it's time to do practical discussion and demonstration on how to make espresso. So like we talked about on the espresso theory video, we're looking to have 21 grams of coffee. We want to have that um, compacted and providing resistance to the water that's coming out at eight and a half bars. And we want to finish our shot with one and a half to two ounces at 25, 29 seconds. So in order to do that, we're going to start off with our setup here. And so what we've got, we've got a Mosner Major grinder. Uh, one is for regular, one is for decaf, as you all know. And then we also have our scale. So we want to weigh off our, our shots so that we know exactly how much coffee we're using. And then now we're also using these, um, these new fangled uh, distributor and tampers. Uh, these are the low palm versions that started out with uh, some of the ones by Sasa and OCD. And these are Chinese knockoffs. So we still have our old school Reg Barber tamper here, which is the classic, my personal preference. But the problem with the, the Reg Barber type or these old school single hand tampers is that it requires a lot of practice and training in order to get efficient. All right, so we're gonna take our porta filter out of the uh, machine, making sure that uh, we're cleaning and keeping it clean. Porta filter basket, as you can see, is a little bit wet, a little bit dirty. We're gonna take a clean rag, clean it off. We wanna get inside the corners here, so make sure you get everything out so that it's fully clean, so you can see it's really clean and all dry. That's important. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and place it on our scale. And the scale now will show us, what's it showing us? It's showing us uh, five grams, so we're gonna tear the scale, bring it to zero, that way we can uh, start off with uh, a zero. <laughs> then we're gonna grind the coffee. We're gonna grind the coffee and then place it in the port filter. We're gonna to try to get, as you can see, it falls in unevenly. We wanna to try to get it to fall in as even as possible. So we're gonna weigh it out. We're 21 grams, we're looking for 21. We'll turn just a little bit more. Drop that in. So we're 21 grams. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the, uh, the port filter. As you can see, it's kind of mounted in this one direction. We can push it over just a little bit, just to help even out the distribution, even though we're gonna use the tool. I like to do that a little bit. The tool here, maybe I'm just doing it because I'm old school. And so I'm gonna twist it around just a couple times. You'll see a lot of people and they'll do all kinds of craziness, but really just a couple twists to get it around there and we're looking at a nice even distribution. Then we're gonna use our second one, which does the actual compaction. We're just gonna press it down to make sure that uh, it's evenly compacted. We're gonna clear away, clear away the excess, and then now we're gonna bring it back. All right, so here we are. We're a bit closer so you can see better. So as you can see, we've got the group head, and we want to flush the group head by using the switch. All right, so we wanna make sure that we flush the group head why do we flush the group head? We want to make sure that the group head has no extra debris, that the water is running clear and clean. Now remember that we only want to use just a brief moment of water just to see that it's clear. We don't want to take too long because these Lamarzoco linea machine boilers are rather small and the longer you run, the more it dips the temperature down. Okay, so we're gonna take that. We're gonna get our demi toss cup ready. For this case, we're gonna have our handy dandy timer. So what we're gonna do is we're going to lock, load, and brew all in rapid succession. All right, so we're gonna put it in. Then the next thing we do is, is brew, slide into position. Oh, I forgot to press that. And we're running the timer as well, right? Okay, so the timer is running. I don't know if you can see it very well with this lighting. That's probably worse. Let's go back closer. There it is. So right about there, see it's how it's wavering? We want to stop. All right. And that's going to deliver us a little bit of espresso crema. As you can see here, some of it has gotten on the sides. We want to take a wet towel. I usually use the steam towel that's wet and just wipe it up. 
What we're looking for is a nice clean presentation, even on this side there's a little bit, so you want to look and make sure that you have checked it all out. And then for the presentation to the guest, we want to have the, the cup. It's over here, ooh, over here. We presume that, the, we always presume that the guest is right-handed. So when we present it, it'll be like this. So the right hand of the guest is where the spoon and the handle are. And then we should have a nice looking crema like that. Looks good. All right. So that's the basic espresso that we want to do. So now we're going to run through one more time. And then we're going to take this first of all. We've got our puck. As you can see, it looks like there might be a little bit of channeling. So it was like running about 22, 23 seconds. So as we can see, the distribution might not have been as good. We want to uh, see that it's a little bit juicy. But let's have a, let's knock it out. We might have a little slight amount of over extraction right here. As you can see, it, a little bit of the oils. We'll get more into that in a future video about uh, some of the telltale signs for us to use. So we rinsed it out. We're gonna let it drip off, dry it up, so then clean it up again. So you see it's clean back to the scale. It's zero back out. We're gonna boil our coffee. We're going to dose the coffee out. We're dosing the coffee. We're gonna weigh again. And the weight now shows us, what, 21 grams, right? Is that right, can you see it? Good. I tell you, it's 21 grams for sure. So again, the bounding looks pretty decent, so we're not going to worry about finger distribution. We're going to go back and get our distribution uh, tool. Just set it down. I don't set it down and force it down. I just kind of work it and spin it and let the weight of the tool compact it. And then we'll use the compactor again at the end. And uh, we'll also go into another video about how to use that more effectively. So now we're back here with the machine. We're going to, again, we're going to get our timer correct. Ready, we're ready to go. Get our demi toss ready to go. Insert brew. Starting the timer. A little bit late. So what we we're looking for is for the, the, the espresso to start out nice and dark with reddish brown crema. I'll pull you closer so you can see the, the shots. Is that better? I don't know if that's better. It's right about there. So we're talking about 20 some, 25 or so grand seconds or whatever that is. And um, yeah, we're going to pull this out on that one a little bit better a little more of a galaxy swirling but nice nice and so we're going to take that again if we're serving this to a guest that goes like that of course the the plate should be a lot drier let's swing this around because i can't can't see it anyway that's the basics of espresso making that we're looking for we're going to test the espresso So what we're looking for is rich brown crema, good crema. Even on the other shot that we pulled earlier, the first one got nice reddish brown crema. That's the color. That's really the color we're looking for. And the idea is that we want to have espresso that has good chocolate cacao notes, some nuttiness on the finish, and then if a little bit of uh, fruity tones, more blueberries, stone fruits, things like that. That's really the ideal shot, and I think that's really what's um, what goes great with milk. So that's our 10 minutes for the espresso video. So if you have any questions, just put that in the comments or call me and let me know what you need to know. We have to explain, and then we'll follow up with more videos to explain deeper into whatever we need to learn. All right. Until next time.